Hey, what's up, dudes? <laughs> Check it out. I've been swallowed by a dinosaur. <laughs> a baby dinosaur. Happy Halloween. I didn't want to wait until Friday to do this video, so everybody's asleep. Came downstairs and put on my little guy's costume. Giving a shout out to my man, Trent. Trent. What's up, man? Oh, I'm looking rough. It's late. Red Sox just won a World Series. So, anyways, happy 100th. Happy hundo, Trent. Um, I'm in on that contest. And give me my five. I told you I was going to have five on it, so bring it. Um, so, yeah, my autograph story. Um, just some MLB stuff I have sitting here on my desk. I actually got this old school 2007 uh, media guide, Brewers Media Guide. Got it in plastic. Back in 07, I was a 20 game pack holder back when I didn't have kids and stuff. So my wife and I had maybe, I think we had two, yeah, I think we had two tickets and uh, two kids at the time. So it was easy to go to Brewers games. But I um, started this project getting this signed. I think the day I got it, I think kept, uh, Chris Capuano was signing, so that was an easy one. Um, and I figured, hey, I was really in, I was really into getting um, MLB autographs at the time and getting a lot of Brewers stuff done. Brewers were doing lots of appearances back, back in 06, 07, 08, and maybe even 09. Lots of uh, Friday night autographs and then block parties and stuff. So yeah, and then um, ended up going to a grocery store. That was a big sponsor of the, of the Brewers that year. It was our 25th anniversary. It was like um, a food chain in our area. is called Pick and Save. So I had went and got Bill Hall to sign. And then a, we had a Mad Dash autograph Fridays. Um, waited in line outside in Miller Park, I think, for an hour and a half until the gates opened at 5.30. And literally it was like uh, Black Friday Mad Dash to get in line for Prince Fielder. But... I've not seen a better Prince Fielder signature anywhere. Um, he gave me this autograph, and just I think my two of my kids got baseball signed, and I forget what else. I think we had four autographs, but all of them pretty much look like that. Just great. Um, you would almost think this was a fake facsimile, but this is obtained in person myself. And then the fourth one was Ned Yost. I got that. Um, at the players' parking lot before a game, um, like in, the, I think I took a lunch lunch break, went down there around two o'clock and got Ned to finish off my um, my media guide. So looking back, I probably would have got different stuff signed and not did the media guide, but that's fine. I did what I wanted to do and maybe I'll make a display out of it someday. But that's my little autograph story. I'm trying to be nice and quiet so I don't wake anybody up upstairs and that so yeah give me my five spots and uh, everybody be sure you check out Trent I gotta tell you what when you watch Trent's videos it's just like hanging out with a buddy and just looking at autographs and talking shiznit and just having a good time so um, check out Trent subscribe like and comment on his videos and uh, you know whatever so uh, again Trent congratulations on the hundo and uh, Hopefully, we'll be talking at 200. See ya.